It is finally Monday, March 30th, and I am currently seven weeks and two days. <laughs> if you can see that, hopefully. Anyway, so today is the day of my first ultrasound. It is at 2.15, and I've been up since about... 10.30 and whew, excuse me I should have been started getting ready my plan was to eat at 10.30 and start getting ready by about 11.15 which would have gave myself like 20 minutes of doing what I'm doing right now which is laying around being ridiculous but the thing is this pregnancy has me gassy and just like, ugh, okay? So, this is probably the third morning that when I wake up, I gotta go poo after eating my breakfast. And that's what I did. And so, my stomach is just like trying to recuperate because when I was done, I'm not gonna lie, I felt a little, my stomach felt a little icky. So, that's why I'm laying here. I still have to take my prenatal. I still have to take my um, citrus cell and I have Tylenol because when I first woke up I had a headache and I already know that if I don't take it now that headache is going to pop back up when I get in the car and I ain't got time. So it's now 12.02. <laughs> I still have to brush my teeth, I have to lay these edges and finished getting ready basically put on makeup you know all the stuff I have to do all the stuff and I took a shower last night feeling like okay that's gonna help me that's one less thing to have to do but since I had to go number two y'all I feel like I need to go ahead and rinse my butt off before I go outside <laughs> so I'll be doing that as well and um I know y'all probably like, girl, you're just getting an ultrasound. Why Why you got to rinse your butt off? Well, you always got to take your drawers off when you go to the doctor. That's just standard procedure, okay? You put the little paper blanket over you to cover your bits until your doctor comes back in. But the thing about ultrasounds, especially with the um, first ones, a lot of times when they do the one that's just the standard one on your stomach and you're not that far along like I'm not that far along I'm only seven weeks and two days maybe this is an estimate this is based on my last period I'm seven weeks and two days for all I know the growth could be a lot smaller and sometimes when that's the case they have to go transvaginal which means they take this tube and they go inside your hoo-ha okay and uh, it's a camera in there so that they can see what's going on in there so they can get a better angle, a better view of where the sack is. And sometimes from the stomach they can't find it. So with that being the case, yeah, I need to wash my butt. <laughs> but I can say this. I was giving myself about five minutes to let my stomach get it together and be okay. And we're at 12.04 now. And I'm feeling a lot better. I think I'm ready to get started. I'm late as hell, but I'm ready to get started because we are rolling out at 1.15. Okay, so we're ready. We're getting ready to head out now. Um, I just wanted to real quick update you guys on the things that I've been feeling. So my symptoms are still very minimal. Um, not really feeling nauseous still. I will say I did start feeling some tenderness in my boobs, but it still isn't like the last time at all. However, on Saturday night, I started hurting in my stomach really bad to the point where I started feeling nauseous and cramping. And uh, I got on the toilet to do a number two. It kind of worked out a little bit, but my stomach was still hurting really bad. While I was on the toilet though, I noticed that I started spotting and it was like a pinkish color then it kind of got a little darker red but still like on the lighter side of red then after that the next day 
um, that actually ended up having brownish spotting. So I've still kind of been spotting off and on here and there since Saturday, and it's Monday. Um, it's back to brownish again. So I don't know. It, I don't know what that's about. I'm going to talk to the doctor about that as well and see if I can get any information on what it could possibly be. Um, but yeah, so we're about to go to this ultrasound and see if there's anything in here. I think it is because, like I said, the gas and all of that, that, that's one symptom that I have been having consistently since day one. So the gas, not so much constipation, but gas and farting and burping, that's been my jam. That's been what I've been doing. So. Yeah. Yep. Have a seat. My social distancing seat. <laughs> yep. You getting booty shots? No. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah. So the reason why John has his little step stool is because he's not allowed to go into my appointment with me. So he's gonna wait outside. We're going to FaceTime, and that's how he's going to get a chance to see what's going on inside of my stomach as well during the sonogram. So, I'm going to go in, you're going to stay with John, and y'all are going to be out here. He's going to talk to you guys, hopefully. Okay. Okay. So, talk to them. <laughs> well, guys, we'll find out if we make her a mama or what. I'm not good at this whole talking to a camera thing. I don't even like laughing. Like when I'm by myself watching movies, it's weird. I do, it's real funny, I will, but I get real self-conscious. You ought to want to hear me anyway. I should have bought a bean bag or something. Thank <laughs> you. 